A legend says that one of the Japanese shogun, a military leader, Ashikaga Yoshimasa, demanded a damaged Chinese bowl to be sent back to China for repairs. Once the bowl was brought back to Japan, it looked ugly, bound together by metal staples. So the Japanese, both in awe and disgust of the novelty, decided to bind the broken pieces with gold instead. And so, Kintsugi was born, the art of binding the broken pieces with gold. They discovered how to see the beauty in broken things. Waste not, want not. Japanese philosophy is like a Kintsugi itself. It's a beautiful mix of different puzzle pieces. It fuses together aspects of Confucianism, Taoism and Buddhism to create a mosaic whole made of disparate elements. The main idea is that life is best lived when you avoid getting overly attached. Maybe you feel too clingy to the set of porcelain dishes that your grandmother left you. Or maybe your life revolves around your partner, putting aside other aspects of life. But things change. Your dishes can fall from the cupboard and break into pieces. Or your relationship can end and leave you heartbroken. The key, the Japanese believed, was to accept change and to not resist the somewhat painful and ever-changing nature of life. The path to happiness is the path of non-resistance and serenity of the mind. After all, Lao Tzu said, To the mind that is still, the whole universe surrenders. So nothing in life is wasteful. Every damage or wound is just a small cut on your soul. Scars are part of life and many are beautiful to look at. Types of Kintsugi In ancient Japan, lacquer work was popular for its practical use and eye-catching beauty. One way of doing kintsugi was the crack method, using gold dust and resin or lacquer to glue in together the broken pieces with minimal overlap. These objects look like gold is running through their veins, stronger and more beautiful than before. Often, some objects have missing pieces and attaching them is nearly impossible. Then the piece method comes in handy when a replacement ceramic fragment is not available and the entirety of the addition is gold or gold lacquer compound. Sometimes we need to pour some affection and love into our emotional wounds, and even if they never heal, they might, with time, glisten like gold. Finally, the third Kintsugi style is the joint call. Some pieces can never be replaced, and some wounds never healed. But if we try hard enough to find some replacements, we might learn that even opposites, or unlikely elements, might fit into our holes. A similarly shaped but non-matching fragment is used to replace a missing piece from the original, creating a patchwork effect. There is a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. Centuries later, Leonard Cohen echoes the philosophy of Kintsugi with the words, There is a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. The important lesson to be learned is that we are all broken in some way. We might be disappointed at the world or heartbroken by our loved ones. We may have experienced traumas that have shaken our core. What matters is to keep on moving and line the broken pieces with gold. Gold can be a replacement. New home, new job, new partner, or a new life altogether. Sometimes it can be small things, like a dinner in your favorite restaurant, or a night out with your friends, or even a play date with your dog. The most important thing is to keep going and repair the broken pieces, to accept life as ongoing and changing. We are all broken. Think about your favorite superheroes. Did Spider-Man give up after losing his uncle, aunt and girlfriend? Or did he keep fighting for what he believed in and saved the city? What about Iron Man, who built an artificial heart using his money and knowledge to keep his body working? There are also the fantasy heroes, like Sansa Stark from Game of Thrones, who lost almost all of her family only to become a queen. She says that her skin went from porcelain to ivory and finally to steel. What doesn't kill us really makes us stronger. We are all broken. That means we can pick up the pieces and rebuild ourselves again, this time better, shining from within through our golden cracks. As our personal and collective lives are constantly challenged, and as we are now reeling from the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, it's important to find a way to rebuild our lives after tragic events, such as dealing with loss, sickness, trauma, and the disruption of daily life. Kirsten Weir echoes this sentiment in the American Psychological Association's periodical, Monitor on Psychology, saying how, post-traumatic growth is like kintsugi for the mind. 
And so, as you are facing a new tomorrow and difficult obstacles and torments along the way, do not shy away from the difficult and the troubling, but keep moving and find a way to line gold in the cracks of your life. And maybe then, beauty can be found in the unlikeliest of places.